I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you why and how to use compression in Reaper. Now this is the fourth video in a series we're doing that focuses on common effects we use in our productions and how to use them in Reaper. But I've made effects videos before. The difference in this series is that I don't want to just focus on how to use these effects, but also why. In this video, we're going to focus on compression. Compression is the process of reducing a signal's dynamic range. Dynamic range is the difference between the loudest and quietest parts of an audio signal. We need to reduce the dynamic range so that our instruments sound natural in a mix. For example, if our singer sings softly, that vocal will get lost and overpowered in a dense mix. Well, if our singer starts to belt out very powerful notes, those would overpower our mix. So compression fixes this by adjusting the quieter parts to be louder and the louder parts to be quieter, basically reducing the dynamic range of the performance. This can also be used as an effect to make instruments like drums really pump and sound more aggressive while also reducing their dynamic range. So let's start with some drums. I have a project right here with some drums. We have a kick, a snare, a pair of overheads, and a pair of room mics. Let's hear it. Let's start with the kick. Let's solo it. Let's go to the track effects and go to the Reaper effects and let's choose the compressor Rea Comp, which is a compressor that comes with Reaper. And it looks like this. I'm going to turn on auto makeup gain so it'll keep the level even. Then we can adjust the threshold to decide how much gain we're reducing. And we'll see that on this meter. Now I have the ratio set to 4 to 1 which means for every dB that our signal goes above the threshold, the gain is reduced by this ratio. So if our signal was normally 4 dB louder, now it's only 1 dB louder. So that's how it reduces our dynamic range. Let's hear it. Before and after. Now we could also adjust the attack and release. The attack setting decides how quickly the compressor reacts to the signal. So if we make it slower, the transients or the percussive sounds will be more likely to get through before they're compressed. While if we make it really fast, Nothing will get through, and the compressor will respond immediately. The release setting is how quickly, after the signal goes below the threshold, that the compressor stops reacting or compressing. This will be easier to hear when we compress the room mics a bit later. But if we make the release really slow, watch what happens on the meter. The gain reduction stays on for a while. But if we make the release really quick, the gain reduction stops very quickly after the signal goes away. Let's hear our snare. Let's add the compressor to the snare. Rea comp, turn on auto makeup gain. Adjust the attack. And the release.
before and after. Let's hear it all together. Now, typically, I don't compress the overheads, but I usually compress the rooms. But instead of using the rear comp compressor for this, I'm going to use a JS plugin called 1175 Compressor, which also comes with Reaper. Again, we'll use 4 to 1 and adjust the threshold and the makeup gain together. Let's adjust the attack. And the release. Let's hear it with the rest of the drums. And let's hear it bypassed and back on. Now, another thing we could do is we can compress all the drums together. As a group, let's make a new track, move it up here, let's name it and make it a folder. So now all these tracks are in this drum folder. So if we compress this track, it's going to compress all the drums as a group. Let's use the 1175 again. Before and after. Check out how much we can make this pump. Maybe a bit less. Let's compare. And let's bypass everything and hear the difference. It's pretty dramatic what we can do with a compressor. Now let's hear it with some vocals. I have a vocal track right here. Let's hear it. Notice this section is quieter than this one. The same with this one. And this one is quieter than this one. So the volume levels are very inconsistent. So let's compress the vocal to make it sound more even. Let's use Rea Comp again with a fast attack and release and four to one compression. Ooh, la, 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 la. Ooh, ah, ah. Let's bring up the makeup gain.
before, Ooh, la, 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 la. and after. It evens out the volume of the performance. So that's pretty much it. That's why and how to use compression in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.